Hey YouTubers, it's Mary Cosby coming at you with the final build and update to the 70 Plymouth Superbird. And there's the box art concerning this build. Uh, and here's, of course, my rendition of the build. The hood's up a little only because the breathers that I put on there are a little tall. Didn't realize that they would be that tall enough to where the hood wouldn't close wouldn't close flush with the body but um, there you have it let me get some light on the inside here and uh, just guys take a good look at it let everybody take a look but uh, back seats in it everything's done if you want to see pictures before or video before it was put together uh, just painted and the interior tub done and that would be the uh, video part three I think or part two but yeah there's your stance on it Good shot of the hood here let me see if I can get a light on there there you go I think, uh, yeah, I got the tag with the photo etched tag plate uh, holder. <laughs> photo etch, um, oh, well, you can see that door lock uh, um, cylinders on the doors also. So, well, you can see that one. So, well, you can look inside the. Um, The interior there. Uh, While well, you like that, maybe let me see if I can pull it up a little more. There you go. Yeah. There's uh, photo S speakers, speaker grills. The other side of the door cylinder locks. I know it's going in and out as far as blurriness is concerned. I think tomorrow I'm going to go buy, uh, buy my video camera. Best Buy tomorrow probably. Before the show Friday. What I'm going to do for the show. Um, I'm going to take, uh, take a video of the show and post it. On my, uh, on my page. And uh, it'd be the NNL East, but I'm gonna try to get a scope that to give you a depth of how big this is, and to give everybody an idea of what goes on. For those that don't go to contests, I would highly uh, encourage you to go. Even if you don't enter, just go to one and check it out. Get an idea, get a feel for what's going on in the in the hobby community and get out and meet a bunch of great people in the uh, in, in the hobby community uh, the vendors and uh, the builders alike and those that share the same passion as all of us do uh, when it comes to the styrene as Dr. Cranky would say love the styrene so let's take a look at the engine now let me pull up a little And just the typical stuff uh, is plumbed and fully wired. Um, I did the cross uh, cross ram manifold or the cross I guess you call it a cross ram manifold with two hollies. Um, let me get a pointer here. In here is the fuel rail, and those red lines are the metal lines coming off the inlets for the float bowls for the fuel the the braided line is going back as the fuel uh, that's the fuel line for the for the fuel rail 
for the carburetors. Of course, we got the heater hoses here. Then, then you know, ignition wires and, you know, uh, I, I don't know how well you can see it back there, but there's a couple of wires, some wires back in here that I, I wired a coil up. There's a coil right there. Right there's the coil, along with the batteries wired and there's a distributor's wired as far as the ignition power and um, the alternator's wired in also parts its power. I uh, put the uh, washer bottle there and, and that's about it. I painted the shroud, fan shroud, same color as the body. And uh, it was a good build. I enjoyed it. Really didn't run into any major problems. Um, I didn't put an exhaust on it, and I'll show you why. And you know, I can always come back later and do it, it's not a big deal. But basically, um, tomorrow I'm going to go out to IKEA. IKEA makes some great display cases, all glass, tall, about 70 inches tall. I think it's 17 or 18 inches deep and I think it's 15 inches wide and um, I think they're like $128 each or something like that but um, I'm gonna go there tomorrow and uh, buy a couple of them so that way I can stop having all these models covered up to keep the dust off of them um, and then continue to build. My next project is going to be the 112 scale flu. Well, it's going to be the 112 Camaro. Um, I just picked up off of eBay a partially built 112 monogram uh, 67 Corvette, which I already have, but I wanted it for the engine, for the blower, and the tunnel ramp system that's in it. That's all I want. It comes with a 427 bit, and it's got Moroso. Uh, tall or what we call deep valve covers um, which I normally paint them gold or have them you know paint them anodized gold um, so that's going to be interesting it's going to be real nice that's what I did with the uh, with the other Corvette the other 67 112 I did that that one's a tunnel ramp so I'm probably going to use it as a blower this time um, and um, I think what I'm going to do is order wheels from uh, Scale Auto, um, they make the wheel and calibers and rotors um, for the 112 uh, 10 Shelby uh, Cobra Mustang, the GT500. Um, I think I'm going to use those wheels uh, that uh, Scale model sales um, with those tires. I think that's going to be great. I'm not going to tub anything. I'm just going to use it as stock. But uh, I'm going to add the rotors and all the scale detail that goes with it, with the big block in there, with the uh, blower sticking out the hood. I think that's going to look like one, one shot car. So uh, we'll see. You know, I'm going to take a little hyena, little hyenas. I think that's what they call it. Um, starting to get warm outside and I want to do some riding and just enjoy myself a little more and then uh, come back to building again so here's underneath I didn't use headers I used a uh, stock manifolds that came with that engine it does come with headers but um, the way this is configured I don't think the headers would have hit it or looked right it would have hit somewhere around in here and I don't think it would have looked right uh, there is a dry shaft in there that's the semi gloss part right down the middle there of course there's the fuel pump uh, that's plumbed and wired in, and then the uh, four point link rear suspension with coilovers. I don't know if you can see the coilovers back there, but there you have it. Again, it was a great build, and um, 
really was wasn't too challenging meaning you know I didn't have no headaches with it and the tag says I don't know if maybe you can read that super B I mean super bird so I was looking for some Roadrunner decals you know to put over here on the wing on the back wing back there but I couldn't find any but I did use the Plymouth the ones that came in the kit so there you have it youtubers to all my subscribers and well-wishers and those that come and look at look at my site I appreciate you guys I really do I appreciate all your comments I thank you though I thank you for subscribing knowing you didn't have to and I appreciate you admiring my work the eye candy as they as as I call it oh by the way the color that's on here it's um uh, it's by Mazda it's by Mazda and um, that's the color um, copper red Mika and I'm pretty sure you saw can read but I wanted to show you that color just in case somebody would like to uh, maybe paint another paint one of their models in it um, I think I got about three coats on this one before I put the clear on and I think I got about two coats of clear and for those that are following they know what you know you guys know what clear I use and um, there it is I rubbed it out normally the same method that I always did I put on the video of how I paint my cars and to those um, Again, I'm, I'm no expert, but uh, I just do what works for me, and that works for me. So if whatever you're using works for you, by all means, continue. So until uh, probably Saturday or Sunday, Saturday evening, because it's 9 to 4 Saturday is the show, and I normally stay the whole day. Um time I get back will probably be about 5 36 o'clock so hopefully uh, I'll have it posted it may be a very long video it may be about the half hour 40 my 45 minutes to maybe an hour because this is a big show so and I want to I want everybody getting uh, to get a pretty good glimpse of all the eye candy and the vendors and what's being sold and you know um, scale modeler will be there uh, their magazine They'll be taking pictures of uh, all the eye candy or, um, you know, the eye candy that they want to take pictures of. They, they leave a little, a little uh, ticket by the model to bring your model over to the shooting booth where they'll shoot, you know, where they'll take several pictures of it. And then eventually they'll come out in one of the magazines if he needs to use it or if he feels he wants to use it. Great guy, too. Really nice guy to talk to and work with. You can call them up on the phone. Very, very good people. They're very good people to uh, to have in, in this uh, community, this model community, to have people like that that go out of their way just to, uh, you know, um, supply a trade magazine for our hobby. So there you have it, YouTubers. Again, these guys have a great evening and a great weekend. I'll talk to you then, God willing. God bless now. Bye.